Efficiently, but always with fun behind the wheel, the participants set off into their third day, and even the sun showed itself. Just three days ago, the Audi Efficiency Challenge from A to B started on the Lofoten, and now, on day three, it is almost over. The first episode, that is. Because today, the road leads from Muirana to Trondheim, and all 40 participants, the journalists and the Audi customers, have to prove that they what they have learned. Trolls and a big tippy with a fireplace awaited the teams at their lunch stop. But the highlight of the tour was the waterfall near the village of Grong. And our action cam was once again on board of an efficiency car, this time the S4 of Gerrit Kreimer and Rainer Behrendt. Guten Abend. Ein Zwischenstand? Ähm, Wie sieht's aus? Augenblick. Wir haben jetzt einen Verbrauch von 7,7. Das sollte eigentlich reichen heute für den Sieg gegen unsere Konkurrenten im anderen S4. Und die Geschwindigkeit? Und wir haben 67 km/h. Durchschnittsgeschwindigkeit. Also voll im Rahmen. Hey, weißt du, was wir machen könnten? Was denn? Zu der gemütlichen Fahrt hier. Spielen wir unser Lied. Unser Lied. Weißt du Bescheid? Job Pütz würde sagen, ich habe da mal was vorbereitet. Ich habe doch mal was vorbereitet. Dann machen wir. Passend für Auto und Fahrerteam. Einfach mal zu genießen. Wir sind die Coolsten, wenn wir Coolsten, wenn wir durch die City düsen. Wir sind die Coolsten, wenn die süßen Ladies uns mit Küsschen grüßen. We started three days ago in A on the Lofoten Islands and we reached Trondheim today. We drove 1,161 kilometers over the last three days overland under realistic driving conditions and we reached really impressive consumption figures. Let me highlight three examples. The Audi A3 1.6 TDI reached 3.0 liters on 100 kilometers The A5 Sportback 2.0 TFSI reached 4.9 liters and the Q7 6 liter V12 TDI reached 8.7 liters on 100 kilometers. These figures really show that the participants of the Audi Efficiency Challenge A to B applied the rules of efficient driving and these figures also show that efficiency is standard in every Audi. And the winners of the award for the most efficient team are Gerrit Kreimer and Rainer Behrendt. Unvorstellbar. Ich äh, kann es noch immer noch nicht glauben. Äh, ich habe mir also hier nichts ausgerechnet und äh, bin überwältigt, dass wir den ersten Platz geschafft haben. Aber wie gesagt, das ist Teamarbeit. Also. For the first 40 participants of the Audi Efficiency Challenge A to B, their journey ends today in Trondheim. But 40 new journalists and Audi customers have already arrived and they will start tomorrow in the second season of the Audi Efficiency Challenge A to B. My colleague Julio Schubach will accompany them. And Julio, what can we expect from this second season? Well, Andreas, like you mentioned, we're in Trondheim now, but tomorrow we're going to drive about 500 kilometers down to Oslo. From there, we're going to cross into Sweden and drive down to Copenhagen. And then finally on Sunday, the last day of stage two, we will arrive in Berlin, Germany's capital, on election day. And I'm curious if my team will exceed the result of your team in the Audi Efficiency Challenge A to B, stage two.